This is DJI Mavic Air 2 Fly More Combo. Let's get into it. Hello guys, welcome back to I Simply Shoot. The only difference between the standard version and the combo version of DJI Mavic Air is that you will get some bunch of extra accessories. And let's find out by doing the unboxing. Inside the box, you will get a nice travel pouch, an aircraft, extra set of batteries and charging hub, extra set of propellers, extra pair of joystick, ND filters, phone connection cable for an Android and Apple phone, a USB cable for data transfer. Before setting up your drone, I would highly recommend to refer the instruction manual which comes inside the box. This will also help you to do the setup pretty quickly. The first and the most important step is to make sure the battery is fully charged. You can charge all the three batteries at once by using the battery charging hub which comes inside the box for the Flymore combo pack. Second, remove the gimbal protector. This gimbal protector is only used to protect the gimbal from scratches so that it is not getting damaged while storing. But during flight, this has to be removed. How to unfold the arms? Front or the top arms open outside and for the rear or the bottom are pushed down and push it outside as shown in this video. To remove the battery, press the buttons on the side of the battery and pull. Again to insert the battery, just insert and push and you will hear a click sound. For the propellers, the propellers have two color codes, one with plain black and another marked with silver or grey. Attach the propeller with grey mark to the motor with a grey ring and the black one with the black motor. Attach all propellers and unfold all the blades. It is very important to match the correct propellers else your drone will not fly. To turn on your drone, press power button once and press and hold 3 to 5 seconds. The same way to turn it off, press once and press and hold for 3 to 5 seconds. This is the brain of the drone through which you can control the entire action of your aircraft. First step, make sure the controller is also fully charged. The controller can be charged by USB type C cable which comes inside the box. Remove the control sticks from the storage slot on the controller and screw them into the place. These control sticks are solid and provide good grip. The next step, pull out the mobile device holder and choose an appropriate controller cable based on the type of mobile device you use. So in the box, you have a lightning connector cable, micro USB and USB type C cable. The default connector to the controller is lightning cable and since I use Android phone, I need to change this cable. So while changing it, connect one end of the cable to the controller and the other end of the cable with the phone logo should be connected to your mobile device. To turn on the remote controller is the same way as the aircraft. Press and hold, press once and press and hold for 3 to 5 seconds and the same way to turn it off. Once you connected your mobile phone and turn on the remote controller, download the DJI Fly app in your phone from Google Play Store or Apple Store. And once downloaded, you need to register your account and for the first time of registration, the app will prompt to buy an insurance. So this is something I would highly recommend to buy because if in case your drone is flying and getting damaged by falling down somewhere, then it is good enough to cover with this insurance. So for me, the insurance cost me around 89 euros, but this can also depend upon country to country. After registration, select your model and follow the step by step instructions on your phone. The app will guide you or app will prompt you to update the firmware to the latest version.
updating the firmware may take few minutes and how to update the firmware i have also shared a link in the description below once everything is set up correctly you are now ready to fly your drone just make sure you fly the drone in open space and not near any residential space or restricted area like airport or defense area So here is some footage from the test flight of my DJI Mavic Air 2 drone. So friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. I will be coming up with more videos on my DJI Mavic drone. So make sure you subscribe my channel. If you have any specific question, feel free to write down in the comment section. That's all in this video and I will see you in the next one.